Hey folks, it's your main man Sabado here. You know, I'm on my way home from a fishing trip in Denver and I realized I did not have an episode for tomorrow morning, so I thought I'd film one at the airport. And I thought I would talk a little bit about a, in a, a conversation I had with my uh, political science teacher when I was in college. Uh, but before we go down that path, I'd like to just ask that you like or subscribe to the channel so you can continue to hear more early retirement tips and just general life stuff. So let's get after it. When I was in college, I had a political science teacher that understood some of the challenges that we had as uh, students trying to figure out our way to get through school. And one of the things he said is you have to fill the holes. And I didn't quite understand what that meant. And he sat down with me and went through the syllabus and he said, if you take all your, if you come to every class, you get X amount of points. If you get A's on your quizzes, you get X amount of points. You get reading, you get X amount of points. And each of those amounts of points, they were a certain percentage of your overall grade. So I thought to myself, then he said, so if you do all of these other things, then by the time you get to the final, which is 20% of your grade, you're already gonna have a minimum of a B if you get 0% because you've done 80% of everything else. Well, it's no different when you look at retirement. You know, there's a lot of conversation about putting money away. There's a lot of conversation about saving in 401ks and old guys like me like to try to tell the millennials not to buy a cup of coffee so you can retire in 10 years, which, you know, I don't necessarily subscribe to that because I think it's a lot more complicated than that. But what I think it does do is tell you that if you take the steps now, and again, this is speaking to folks that are 20s, 30s, 40s, and I didn't start until I was in my 30s, late 30s, early 40s, getting serious about looking to retirement. And again, I'm 52 and I'm retired and I'm fairly comfortable in my retirement. But the idea is, is try to fill those holes. Figure out what are those things that I can do now that are gonna keep me out of the hole? Um, are they gonna be things like paying off debts, putting money in savings? Figure out what you think you need to retire on a monthly basis. Figure out your cost of health care. And once you do that, then what you can do is you start saving towards that hole, fill that hole, then everything on top of that is gravy. Um, one of the things we looked at is we took a look at our long-term savings. I mean, I'm sorry, long-term care planning. Got that taken care of. Started looking at the life insurance picture. Got that taken care of. Started looking at a whole bunch of different things and just got those things squared away. So now, even with some of these market fluctuations, which no matter how comfortable you are, are going to create a little bit of angst, no matter who you are, um, I'm not as worried about how things are gonna turn out because we've taken a chance to fill the holes. And I would suggest to you that filling the holes isn't just in your financial life, but also in your personal life. If there's a certain place that you wanna be, what are the incremental steps to get you to the place Whereas I like to say the lowest grade you get is a C. So again, I promise you this wasn't gonna be a long video. I wanted to share with you, it's been burning with me for a period of time now, um, the conversation I had with my political science teacher. But I wanted to kind of drop the seed to each of you to start to fill in the holes, figure out where those holes are, fill in the holes, so that way you find yourself getting to a place where you can retire as soon as you can whether that's in your 40s, 50s, or 60s. So on that note, I bid you a good evening, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you.